Alright, so keep our shoulders down guys and let's just take a really lovely big circle, closing your eyes, just close your eyes, feel the movement, notice if there's any discomfort in the shoulder area. We're going to use some weights today, feel free, 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 oh, don't. feel free the other side to just do the arm actions if you don't feel quite strong enough. It says bar pilates combo. And then we're just going to take it all the way up, take the gaze up as well, and then stick your bum back into a squat and up. And two more. Well done, good. And then straight into warming up through the calves. So, chin to dip. Out and over. I've just been talking to Finlay. I want to, I want to go see Bugsy Malone, but he's a bit like, mm. he thought I meant the rapper. I'm like, no, the old film. <laughs> That's that. It's on at Leeds Playhouse. A few friends went last night and said it were amazing. And again for five. My poor boys, I'm always trying to get them into musical theatre. Three. Two. Good. And one. Well done. And then out and do our retraction. So really pull back. Notice the stretch. Out and down. Bring the calves in if you want. Up and lower. Out, in. Yeah, just come up on calves and wherever you feel. Might be from here, or you might want to come up straight away and hold up into more balance. Four more, so just however you feel comfortable. And two. And last one. And beautiful, well done, excellent. And then just take hands on here. And then all I want you to do is take them out. Make a fist, open the hands. Make a fist, open the hands. And again for three, two, and one. And do a real rock climb. Try and get the obliques in as well. Rock climb. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. And then just hands interlink and then try not to push the ribs out. So keep everything connected just for a little bit of that lymphatic. Oh, you don't know where Deb says she was going to be here today. I bet she's stuck. She's a uh, hi Deb. She's pretty bad at doing recordings, but um, she's got a party, a 50th on the 1st of October. So it's a 1920s theme. So um, yeah. She's gone to get a dress fit in today, bless her. Very it's run over two and one. Well done. Good work. Okay, let's take it into Lorraine's not here today, but still we'll do our squats. So shoulders down, tight through the tummy. Take it nice and easy, but nice and low. So down, not too fast. So lead into the heels, get them hips going. And again, good. Oh, I hope the weather. Ah, Sandra's on. Thank you, Sandra. Morning, Sandra, or afternoon, hon. You've only missed a few minutes, hon, just a bit of shoulder work. <laughs> and again, good. Let's go. 12, 11, 10, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. 
good, beautiful. Okay, let's come into a bit of a lunge if we can. Before we lunge, we haven't done our mobilisation for a bit, have we? So just keep the shoulders down. And remember, sort of, that circle in action, we're going to do the same with the hip area. So you just circle forward. Make sure you've got a nice wide stance so the knee's not coming over the toes. Just circle through. Try and keep the chest elevated. Finley, don't forget to take Coco out. And then the other way. So remember our movement patterns live in our joints. So we want to send them messages that we are lovely and healthy through our joints to the brain. And two. And three. And four. Six. Seven. It feels weird without Serena, doesn't it? And then the other way. I'm glad she's still seeing you. Two. feel two and one well done back to center position and take hold of you know a wall or a chair if you feel that your balance might not be quite up to speed after a few weeks off uh, so keep the shoulders down back leg nice and long try and take that back knee into a right angle as well yeah and two and three and four, and four, and three, and two, and one. Let's do eight more for eight, for seven, for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Well done. Push that back heel into the mat. Feel that nice stretch through the calf. Oh, I watched the Elvis movie again last night. It's so good if you've not seen it, guys. I suppose if you don't like him, it maybe not, but... Austin Butler's very good in it. And again, the other side. So keep that back leg nice and long. Take it down. Either hold on, you're still working through the legs. Sometimes if your balance is a bit off, um, you know, it can compromise the actual uh, lunge itself. So just be careful. You can always, a good thing, keep going guys, a good little trick if balance is off is to actually take the heel into the back wall and that often helps people balance as well. So just a little trick for you. Three, two and one. Well done and again just take that back heel into the mat, feel the stretch through the calf muscle. And we'll do our balance work first guys, we'll do some balance work and then we'll go into some weights and some stretches for the shoulders. So gently come back in and again I always just have something. So let's go straight into tree pose. You can always as normal guys take the foot into the inner lower leg, the inner calf if that feels a little bit more steady. Push the big toe of the supporting foot into the mat. Draw the tummy in. Take it up for four. Inhaling, exhaling back down. For two. For three. For four. Well done. Push the palms in. Really push them in. Hold, just hold, try and hold for five breaths. In through the nose. 
out through the mouth. Last one, breath in. And down. Well done. Take the front, the leg that was up in front. Stretch the one that you were stood on. So chin to chest, hips all the way to the mat. Gently down towards the floor. Letting the head just hang. The stretch I did last week, guys, the one that Serena said she couldn't do. She couldn't do it because she was just doing it wrong. I probably just cued it not correctly. So once I showed on Thursday, she could do it. So we'll do it again, just in case you struggled with it. The one where I'll show you when we get up to it on the floor. So she was really cross that she couldn't do it, but then, yeah, I showed her how she could do it. And then back to centre, and then the other side. So again, gosh, it's warm again today. Hold on. So again, find your balance. Sometimes it's just nice to hold on to something until you get up there. Draw the tummy in, push the big toe into the mat. Take it up for one. With control. So it sometimes helps to just focus either. I tend to look straight ahead. I used to look down towards a knot in the wood, but whatever feels comfortable for you. And over. And then again, that big hold. So push the palms in, find the strength. Push the big toe into the mat. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. In. Nearly went. Last one. And beautiful. Well done. Not easy, tree pose. Soften the front knee. Take the hips back. Chin to chest. Gently down to the floor. Letting the head just hang. Take some gorgeous breaths in through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Last one, breath in. Soften the front knee and gently restart. Good. Well done. Excellent. One more balance and then we'll get into doing a bit of strength work. So take one foot in front of the other. And hands together, shoulder blades down. And keep the car tight and have a little rotation. If it's too much, then you can just keep the feet together. Back to centre. The other way. And again. One more each side. And back. Bit of rotation. Back to centre. Try and just, if you want, you can just hold like this, take your arms up, get in that flexion, or you can try and just close your eyes and hold if you feel comfortable. And gently open. Good. So just taking that visual away, improving that balance, the proprioception. Yeah. And then just, again, take the other foot in front. This time take your arms out wide. So take them out to shoulder height, palms up towards the ceiling, shoulder blades down. Gently rotate. Back to centre. Good, the other way. Try not to let the arms come forward. So try and keep that retraction. So you're feeling the stretch through your pec wall, the front chest muscles, and feeling like a little bit of um, a retraction, the shoulder blades touching. And back, and then again, back to this position, shoulder blades down, length through the crown of the head. Either take it up,
keep doing that or you can try and wink and then close and close not easy and <laughs> relax well done okay brilliant let's just take a nice little side bend my, my mat's feel really sticky today just hold it up and again take one foot in front of the other and just really push the hips out yeah try not to kind of just do that really push out feel a lateral stretch and try not to rock over forwards as well so real full side bend stretching out through the lat muscles the psoas muscles legs just helps you know which way you're going and another and relax well done good so grab hold of some weights choose your levels so if you've not done any for a while or your neck feels a little bit tender today or the shoulders just go light or push yourself a bit so we'll just do our normal one where we just do our um bicep so keep the foot down no let's raise the foot actually so elbows glued into your waist soften through the back knee lift keep the core tight try and keep hips forward for two for three, for four, for four, for three, for two, for one. Well done. Take that foot down, bring the weights in together so they're touching. Keep the elbows glued in, keep the rib cage closed, go into dumb waiter. One, two, three. And then keep it out and then lower it and just do a bicep in this position. If it's too much or it doesn't feel right, come back to just that one. Yeah? So out, lower, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Other side. So again, lift, eight, lift. Seven, control weights up, control weights down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, internal, external rotation. Eight, seven, six, five. Just keep going guys, seven, Oof. doesn't feel warm out with my studio, no, no, it does feel quite warm out actually. And one, well done, place one weight down and just keep the other, so take one weight down, the same leg that stood, I want you to take one leg out to the side and it's the opposite one. Don't lift that leg too high. Soften through the front knee. Transfer weight slightly. Lift. And lower. Nice and slow. About my pace. Two. Try not to drop the weight on the adduction. So abducts as you take away. Uses different muscle groups. Three. Two. And one, keep the foot down, raise a little bit, grow a bit, just lift the arm for eight, for seven, for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Not easy abduction, so you might want to 
I change the way if you've been using a big one for bicep? Okay, let's go again. So just lift. And again, try and keep that shoulder down. Don't let it hike up. Three. Four. Four. Three. Two. And one. And keep your foot down. Shoulder blades down. Lift. Eight. Slowly back. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Switch arms again into your tricep one. So again, do that and notice that you're not doing anything when you do that. Now make it precise. So way into the sort of near the bottom of the brass wrap. Take it out. Straighten your arm. Gently in. I want it really nice and slow. Out. Straighten. Gently in. If you're doing this quite easy, you need you ready for a slightly bigger weight, guys. I need to buy a slightly bigger one actually. Four, three, two, one, let's do four more, four, three, two, and one. And then easily just switch then. Shoulder blades down, weight slightly forwards, out, slowly in, and two. Eight more. Eight. Done. Good work. Just one more into front raise, guys, and then we'll do some nice stretches through there. So just take it into. Let me see. Yeah. So I just want you to pull one at a time. For one. For two. Three. You don't have to care for raise if you don't want. Four. Four. Three. Two. One. Eight more, we're done. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, good work. All right, leave it there. Video on yesterday, did quite a lot of weights on there. If you like your weights, guys, you can maybe do that on Saturday or something. Press one foot in front of the other. Keep the shoulders down. The weather is weird. One minute it's raining, the next minute it's bright. So take your arm forward. Keep the shoulder blade down. Bring it in. The arm looks at the top, guys. Take it up into tricep, pull it down, push it down. Well done, the hand that's between the shoulder blades, take it behind the back, the other hand on top of the head, and then just have a little stretch through the neck. Hold it, take that hand away from the back and just circle it round. Oh, 
oh gosh, I always feel so good. I was massaging yesterday and I can feel that. Beautiful. And then just take it back again, pull the scapula together. Take it a little bit further down if you can. And gently back to centre. Well done. Other side. So I always cross, you don't have to cross your feet, it's just to remind me which one I'm not stretching out. And take it forward and then just pull it in. Oh. oh, this feels a bit weird the end of summer, doesn't it? It's like almost like January, a new start, but yeah, a little bit of sadness that it's gone. And then just pull. And then gently up and just push again. Push the on the elbow, feeling the triceps stretching out. Well done, the hand that's in between the shoulder blades, take it behind the back, really pull back if you can to create this stretch, particularly kind of near the bicep tendon area, all through that pectoral wall. And then again, just hold, take your arm down, look a little shrugs. So when you reach the fingers to the feet after you shrug, that's kind of where we want to keep them. Yeah, during the day. Two, one, and again, back, pull back. So guys, because of the heating bills, you've got no excuse but to increase your cardiovascular system to keep warm. All right, brilliant. So let's get down, straight down onto the floor. I might just close this when this blind guy Okay, I don't know if that's helped you, but yeah. All right, so down on the floor. And uh, let's have the, yeah, let's start with a little bit of harder stuff and then we'll, we'll do some side leg, we'll do some abdominal work and then we'll do a couple of nice stretches. So let's bend the bottom knee. Yeah, let's really bend it. I did loads of side leg last night, I really feel it. So lift up that bottom waist, yeah, so gap there, try and maintain it. I'm teaching a girl at the minute and she said, I forgot when you were away, Jo, and I was doing this and I couldn't feel my legs. So it's just reminding yourself all the time to keep that waist lifted, that bottom hand in direct opposition to the top leg. I like to keep my hand there, some people like to put it there, some like to take it overhead, just be careful of that happening if you do. So again, just lift and lower. Lift. And lower. So when you lift the leg, be mindful that the bottom waist doesn't drop as well. So there should be no movement. Keep the navel to spine or the pelvis floor slightly engaged. The hips facing forwards. Two. And one. And then just pause and flex the foot. Just to have a little bit. Just keep that ankle mobility. So important. Yeah, just if you ever have any ankle problems, which me and Janet know about, um, it's just nice circling that the brain recognises that the ankle joint was once mobile, so it will heal quicker. And then back again, and it keeps that lymphatic flow. And then from the hip, much harder. Circle, nice control, circle of two, circle of three, Circle of four, five, and six. Circle back. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Just have a little rest. It's probably because I did some last night. I'm feeling these, but hold that. Just pull the thigh backwards. And let's just do a little 
little bit of clam. So again, with clam, you can have the shins on the floor. I like to lift them up. It's a little bit hard not to kind of lose that gap. So don't worry too much about that, but try and keep the hips facing forwards. And we just take a rotation and back. And two and back. I sometimes like to come up like this. Three, four, five, six, seven. Some more for that big glute muscle. Eight. And then with that kick, eight. So you straighten the leg. You bring the foot back. You close it down. Open for two. And down. For three, Princess Diana's anniversary today, isn't it? Four, four more, four, three, good, two, woo, and one. Well done. Just come on to your backs. Let's just take piriforms. That seems to be the one that most people really feel. So just take it into your tabletop position. Again, we should know this off by heart, guys, but I know people often forget. So same hand, push in a knee, visualise the opposite shoulder. Sometimes that's enough for people. Otherwise, lift up if you can. Take the opposite hand, outside ankle bone, heel into the top of the thigh and keep pushing on the outside knee. Sometimes if the neck feels a bit tender, you might want to have something, oh, I got this from the haven, so nice, something underneath the head. Keep pushing. And then from piriformis, the hand that's at the outside of the knee, take it out to the side and take that hand to the outside thigh area. And take a beautiful breath in, let the belly rise. And release. Good. Back to centre. Just grab the back of the leg. Just flex and point it. Flex and point. Flex and point. Flex. Circle. Circle. Circle back. And beautiful, well done. Come over straight away onto the other side. Got a feeling if I don't do it now, I'll forget. Okay. So again, always remind yourself of the principles. So hips are forward, lift up the bottom waist. This one I'm just gonna do with the hips and knees and ankles stacked. Feel free to do like we did on the other side. So a little bit more difficult to stabilize. So you might wanna put your hand there. And we're just going to lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. But quite a lot of people at the minute are coming for massages, they've got real problems with hips, like groins. And they just don't do any glute work. So it's really good to just exercise the glutes. Hold it, soften the knee a little bit, just point and flex. Get that lymph flow in. One and then circle. You might hear some little creaks. Circle that. And then just soften the knee a bit more to circle for six. Circle for five, for four, three, two, one. Circle back, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, just pulse it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four. Bring it in. Heel into butt. Beautiful. 
go straight into clamp. So again, we clamp, you can come up if you want and keep the hips facing forward. Make sure they don't over rotate. So just do eight single, eight, seven, six, From here, you go straight into a side joint stretch. So just take that hand out to the side and gently up. If you don't feel much of a stretch, lucky you. But I love this stretch. Just stretches out the back. and then just come back to your centre position just grab the back of that thigh just to stretch the leg a little bit into hamstrings and we're just going to do a little bit of supine no, let's go actually if you've got your roller let's jump on rollers if you haven't got your roller let's do our single leg stretch work on the floor and then we'll do some supine spine to finish and shoulder work so so just follow at home if you're doing it, if you've not got a roller, just follow everything that I do on the mat. So the head is obviously connected, nice length through the neck, make sure you're not seeing the back of the root. Walk your hands down to your ribs, make sure the ribs are up and down and not in and out like that. Okay, you don't want them separating. Pubic bone, hip bones, level, little gap underneath the lumbar spine, so you've just got that tiny gap there and length through the chest, through the collarbone area. Okay, so again, sometimes I have to go around and give people a block again, so just see how it feels. I'll get a towel. And then your pelvic floor, the muscle between your pubic bone and uh, tailbone, draw it in and up like you're stopping yourself mid-flow with having a wee, 30%, bring the right leg up. And if you've got the strength to do it, the left leg, if we can. Keep your arms down, draw the belly in, push the ribs down, take the right leg out. If you're doing it on the mat, just make sure you're doing it in neutral and that you're not moving from the back. Nice and slow. Take three. ever got kind of neck issues which often after breast cancer surgery people can get real discomfort in the neck triggered from obviously surgery um just issues with shoulders so it's really nice to be able to keep head and shoulders down and work the core let's go another eight not easy Keep the ribcage down. Go 
Weather's pretty awful this weekend, guys. I'm hoping the summer's not gone completely. Shoo. And one. Oh, well done. Gently down, set the soles of the feet together. Let the knees just fall out to the side. Just let them relax. And we'll stay on the roller if you're on it to do the shoulder and neck work. And then we'll do a little bit of work through that. So again, nice chin to chest and just gently take that right ear to shoulder. Beautiful, back to centre, the other way. And again. Chin to chest, take your arms up. Let's see if we can take them both backwards. Don't let the ribs come if you can help it. How far did they come back? Did they come all the way? Can you take them round? And then back. If you can't, don't worry, just go as far. It might be this to start with. And then do one at a time. Go up. Always nice to just do one at a time, just to recognise if there's any limitations. Good, and then take both hands down, take the palms up to ceiling, palms, sorry, palms to shoulder height, and then turn your palms up to ceiling and then back round. And the other, and again. Almost like a swing actually. Well done. And then just last but not least, just take right arm up to ceiling, pick an apple off a tree, retract it back down. Up. And a little bit like we did when we were standing, rope climbs. And you can do rope climbs in all different directions. Three, two, and one. The other side. So reach, grab the apple, retract, grab, retract, grab, retract. Three, two, and one. Gently back down. Let's come off our roller nice and easy. I know I jump off it, guys, but obviously <laughs> take your time. And then just come on to all fours. Not all four, sorry. Come onto your back. Walk the shoulder blades down. All we're going to do is two mobility bridges. So we're just going to take a breath in through the nose. Gently roll the lower back into the mat. Start lifting up into your bridge, taking the spine away. Just hold in that position. Make sure the ribs are closed, the hips are level. Take a beautiful breath in. Slowly lower. And back on. Beautiful. And again, gently roll the low back into the mat. Start lifting up, sending the hips high, the knees along. Take a breath in. Gently down. Good. Length of the right leg. Take the left leg over again. Opposite right hand again into that supine spine. Well done. Back to centre. Left leg lengthens, right foot comes over the left knee, opposite hand comes to the outside. And again, try and keep your shoulder as far down as you can. Feel the stretch almost through the bottom into the SI joint. Beautiful. 
fell. Come over onto your front. And let's come in. So modified child's pose is a bit like this. Try if you can to walk the, the bum towards the heel. And just really rest in that position. And just come up. Yeah. And then just down. So just like that. Up and down. If the knees allow. If the knees don't allow it, just keep in your child's pose. And then see if you can roll all the way around. All the way around. The other way. And then all the way down again. And walk both hands to one side. Take the top hand, reach over the bottom hand. Take a breath in. And out. In. And out. Last one, breath in. And beautiful, to the other side. Breath in. In and out. Last one. And then back to centre. And then see if you can just sit in that Z leg. So this is the one where it went, uh, Serena it would go in the wrong way. So it's probably because I didn't cue well. So I'm going to try and cue better this time. So you sit in a Z leg. So front foot is into that back thigh. And whichever knee's in front, you want to take the same hand down. Just take the other hand up and just take a little mermaid stretch. It's difficult with Zoom because you're obviously trying to emulate me. And I'll show you what happened with Serena. Serena then tried to turn this way. So you don't. You turn towards the front knee and then you just rest down into like a child's pose. Almost like a side child's pose. Feeling a little bit of stretch through the lat muscles. Take a breath in. And out. Last one. And gently walk it back up on the other side. So Z leg, so whichever foot's in front, yeah, that front knee, you want the same hand down, you just come over like this. So apologies if I confused you last week, guys. And then you just twist your body. And down, take a breath in. Gently back and up we 